Hey everyone, it's C. Scott Brown from Android Authority. I'm here to talk about Tensor G5. Uh, made by Google, just happened yesterday. I'm still here in Brooklyn uh, you know, for the event. And yeah, uh, a lot of people want to know about Tensor G5. We're getting, we're getting inundated with messages and comments and, and things. And we see a lot of stuff flying around online about you know, benchmarks and all these other things. And I want to sort of make this video to go over what we actually know about Tensor G5 and, uh, and, and, and make sure that everyone understands what, what's actually happening here. So uh, I want to start off by explaining how things work a little bit. So uh, most people watching this will know that you know, leading up to a, a large smartphone launch, companies will come to sites like Android Authority and say, here's the information ahead of time. Sign an NDA, you can't tell anyone about it, but we're going to give you the information ahead of time. Uh, I will 100% fully admit that that happened for the Pixel 10 series. So we knew specs, we knew what the phones looked like, we knew uh, you know, pricing, we knew availability, we knew a lot about the Pixel 10 series before Made by Google happened at yesterday. We did not get much information about Tensor G5 and we still don't have it. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not making this video pretending that I don't know about Tensor G5 we don't know. Like Google is flat out saying, we're not going to tell you a lot of this information. Um, and we've asked, we've asked very specific questions about Tensor G5 and we're just not getting them. So what's gonna happen over the next week is that people are gonna start getting their review units. People are gonna be start getting their, 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 their own, not review units, their actual retail ready units. Cause some people get them earlier than expected, um, you know, thanks to mail and shipping and stuff like that. Um, so you're gonna start seeing benchmarks leak and, and all that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, as of right now, today, very few people in the world know exactly what's going on with Tensor G5. So what I wanna do with this video is I wanna go over what we do know and sort of give you an idea of what, where we stand and, and what we hope to learn over the next week. So I'm gonna start here with my, my good friend Hadley wrote this amazing article here. Google announces Tensor G5, what's new with the Pixel 10 processor? And uh, it goes over a lot of stuff, um, uh, but First, I want to point out this video here, the uh, Pixel 10 series, 10 things you need to know. Uh, Lon and I made this video and it's doing really well and uh, I really think it's good. So uh, please run, jump over to our an main Android Authority channel when you have the time and give it a watch. I think it's, it's a good video. So uh, check that out. Um, yeah, so uh, let's, let's jump right in to, um, to the first thing on here, uh, which goes over just the basics of Tensor G5. So people who maybe are just learning about Tensor or maybe just learning about pixels and what they mean for them, uh, let me just real quick go over this, uh, this thing. So Tensor came out with the Pixel 6 series a few years, a few years ago, and uh, it was the first processor that Google made on its own. And when I say made on its own, it didn't really make it on its own. It, it, it made it on its own, but it used Samsung as like a base. So what, what Samsung did is Samsung said, here's an Exynos processor that we've made for a smartphone. And Google said, great, we'll take that. We're gonna change this. We're gonna move this around. We're gonna add this thing in here. We're gonna tweak this. We're gonna turn this up, turn whatever. And then boom, this is now Tensor. We're gonna throw it into a, a smartphone and, and sell it in the Pixel 6 series. And then Google's refined that for the Pixel 7, Pixel 8, and Pixel 9. So Tensor G1 through G4 were all based on Samsung Exynos processors. The Tensor G5 model though is the first that is actually designed from the ground up by Google. And then Google sent its designs to TSMC, which is the same company that makes uh, Qualcomm and Apple's and Nvidia's silicon among many others. Um, so yeah, so the factory that's making Apple M series chips and Nvidia silicon and Qualcomm Snapdragon chips is now making Tensor. So the best of the best is being made by the same company. And so that means that Tensor is probably going to be a lot better than most Tensors that we've seen before. However, remember that this is Google's first attempt at this. Now, even though it's Tensor G5, so it's, it's had five generations, this is its first time doing it all by itself. And so I was talking about this yesterday with someone and I, I, I brought up that it, it was kind of like a car company making its first motorcycle. You know. Car companies, you know, there are plenty of car companies that also make motorcycles, but imagine a car company that's never made a motorcycle before and they make great cars and then they make a motorcycle. And you would expect as a consumer that that motorcycle might not be the best motorcycle on the market because it's the company's first try. That's kind of how we have to look at Tensor G5. Yes, Google has proven that it can make great things, but this is its first attempt at doing it all by itself. So things aren't gonna be as good as maybe we'd see from larger companies that have been doing this for a longer time. 
like Qualcomm. That being said, Tensor G5 is built on a three nanometer process, which uh, Hadley mentions down here, TSMC is building on its three nanometer process. This is the same process that is made, uh, that is used for the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Three nanometer means that you get really good thermals, really good battery life, and lots of power, lots of performance. Um, and so yeah, the Tensor G5 theoretically has that same stuff. It, it could be as good as the Snapdragon 8 Elite if Google, once again, if this wasn't Google's first attempt and it wasn't, you know, as far along in the game as Qualcomm. So is the Tensor G5 going to be as good as the Snapdragon 8 Elite? No, absolutely 100% not. Google hasn't told us how good it is, but I can guarantee you it is not going to be as good as the 8 Elite. Okay, so let's scroll down here a bit. Um, this is a great article. I highly suggest reading it. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read the whole thing, but I just want to hit on some major points here. Uh, so this next section here is Tensor G5 CPU and GPU. Why so quiet Google? Uh, so we asked Google. We, we Google gave us a briefing and it said, we're going to tell you all about Tensor G5. We attended the briefing and Google didn't really tell us much about Tensor G5. They gave us some stuff, but it wasn't really that much information. So we sent a laundry list of questions to Google. I, I, I it was like 15 questions uh, all about like specifics. Tell us about this. Tell us about that. Tell us the specific benchmarks. Tell us all this information. And Google responded and basically said, no, we're not going to give you this information, which is frustrating, but that's what they did. Uh, so Google is being very quiet about what Tensor can actually do. Uh, so yeah, you'll see down here that when we asked Google for the specific CPU uh, that's, that has been, that the upgraded CPU within Tensor G5, uh, Google said that it has been upgraded to the latest generation mid-core mid IPs. What does that mean? The latest generation of what? Mid-core, uh, this, is, this is not information. This is, this is vague, like the, this, there's nothing here. Uh, this is the answer we have though. So, uh, and this is the answer that Google is giving to everyone. So if you, you know, if someone online says, oh, I know exactly what cores are inside, if they don't know. Like they, they think they know because once again, we have some leaks. One of these leaks from us, from Android Authority, we have leaks that say that it is a Cortex X4, one or Cortex X4 core, five Cortex A725 cores and two Cortex A520 cores. Now that could be it, but that's a leak. Google hasn't said this is what it is. Um, so, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that actually does. Uh, so what does this actually mean for the CPU performance? Google claims the CPU is 34% faster on average than the Pixel 9's chip. That sounds good, but what does it mean? 34% faster at what? Like, what are you doing that makes, you know, what, what, what needs to happen for you to reach that 34% uh, that, you know, number? Like, are, is that multi-core? Is that single core? What's happening on the phone at that moment that you can reach 34% speeds over Tensor G4? Google's not saying, we don't know. Moving down, I wanna talk more about the, uh, the GPU. So this is what everyone really wants to know. What GPU is inside the phone? Well, you know, what are the benchmark scores? You know, is this going to be better for gaming than the previous Tensor G4 uh, you know, uh, chip? And the answer is, once again, we don't know. Uh, Google has told us some very vague things once again. Uh, it, Google said that it features an updated GPU IP. We said, which one? They said, we're not telling you. So, I mean, no, no clue whatsoever what's going on with the GPU inside. Leaks suggest that it's an imagination GPU, but we don't know for sure yet what, what is inside because Google hasn't said. Um, one thing we can say though, that we, uh, that we did specifically ask and Google surprisingly actually answered with a specific answer is that the, uh, the Tensor G5 GPU does not support ray tracing. So if you're a big gamer and you're excited about ray tracing on your phones, we have, you know, definitive information from Google that the GPU inside Tensor G5 does not support ray tracing. Um, and I can tell you flat out that there is no reason to expect that this GPU is going to be better than you know other GPUs you see on the market. Um, I would expect most major chipsets from Qualcomm and MediaTek especially uh, will probably outperform Tensor G5 when it comes to gaming. Let me just put it this way. If the Tensor G5 processor and the GPU inside was a gaming powerhouse, Google would be telling us. Google would be saying, oh my God, let me tell you all about how great it is to game on Tensor G5. They're not saying that. And in fact, they are hiding the information as much as they possibly can for as long as they can. 
So I can tell you right now, the Tensor G5 is not going to be a powerhouse for gaming. It will probably play 99% of games and it'll probably do pretty well for performance. But when it comes to heavy gaming and especially emulation, Tensor G5 is probably not going to be super awesome. So um, I'm gonna skip over AI and imaging um, just because you know this video is already kind of long and, and this is information that um, it's, it's, it's once again, it's a lot of vague stuff. It's a lot of just like, you know, it's, it's, it's better. Here's how much it's better it is, but, but you know, no actual specific information about it. Um, there's a poll in here. I, if you're watching this, please jump over to this article and make sure you answer this poll and let us know what you think about Tensor G5 so far. Uh, it'd be cool to have a ton of data for this so we can you know, see, see how people are feeling about it. Um, but I wanna get to this final section here, which is big questions remain about Tensor G5. And I wanna end on this one because I wanna mention that over the next few days, you're gonna see a lot of people online posting benchmarks and things from who knows where. Um, I already saw on Reddit that somebody got a retail model, uh, not a retail model, sorry, a demo model of a Pixel 10. So in other words, the, the, the model that will appear on a stand when you walk into a store and it says like buy the Pixel 10 and you go over and you can touch it and play with it and it's on a tether and all that stuff. Somebody got one of those and ran a benchmark on it and the benchmark that leaked to the internet kind of caused a storm because people were like, oh my God, this benchmark suck. And uh, the problem is, is that that demo unit probably has massively outdated drivers. It's not designed to be a phone that someone is actually going to buy and use and, and, and have for seven years of their life. Uh, that's a phone that's meant to be on that shelf for the next maybe year and then be taken away and, and tossed. And it's just gonna play a video on a loop for hours and hours. So that is, getting a benchmark from that phone is not, is, is not the way to go. That's not, that's not accurate information. Uh, so what's going to happen though is over the next week, people are gonna start getting actual retail models. They're gonna be getting review units. They're gonna be getting uh, the things they pre-ordered. They're gonna come a couple of days early and you're gonna start to see benchmarks come out. Those might be more trustworthy, but please wait until next week. Next week, I can't tell you when, but next week we're gonna have, Android Authority is going to have a full breakdown of everything you could possibly ever wanna know about Tensor G5 and it will be 100% accurate. Um, Robert Triggs at Android Authority, who's one of the smartest guys I've ever talked to in my life, is, uh, is, is going to write it and he's gonna have accurate data, he's gonna have charts, he's gonna have comparisons. It's, it's gonna be exhaustive and it's gonna have everything you could possibly ever wanna know. So please just wait until next week before you start running off and saying all sorts of stuff about Tensor G5 because as of today, no one really knows. I mean, some people at Google know, but most people outside of Google don't know what's going on with Tensor G5. So uh, yeah, please just take everything with a grain of salt for the next week or so, but guarantee you, head to androidauthority.com next week and we will have all the information that you've ever wanted to know. Anyway, I hope this clears up some confusion about what's going on with Tensor G5 and, and how things work sort of behind the scenes here at Android Authority. And uh, yeah, uh, please visit the article, read the whole article so you can see what's going on and be sure to vote in that poll. Thanks so much guys, I'll see y'all later.